I have heard of a world where we live in the shadows, undercover, constantly in hiding. A world where we seek shelter from the sun, the very same sun without which life on earth would not exist. A world where we are unceasingly seeking protection for our skin, our eyes. Where skin cancer spreads, the human immune system weakens, marine life slowly perishes, livestock is damaged, plants and crops deteriorate. That was over 25 years ago. How does a hole just appear in the atmosphere? The British Antarctic Survey has been monitoring ozone levels since the 1950s. Jonathan Shanklin was one of the first to notice that something wasn't right. Well, in retrospect, that was a really good thing to call it, because an ozone hole must be bad. Almost automatically, it meant that people wanted something doing about it. The hole had to be filled in. Ozone has a natural regulation process but something was throwing it off balance. Our use of certain chemicals, most notably chlorofluorocarbons and halons. Chlorofluorocarbon is a, is a very non-reactive gas. It, you can breathe it um, and it doesn't affect you at all. But when you release this gas, the green atom engages in a little catalytic reaction. It will react with ozone and then it will react with another oxygen atom to regenerate itself back to chlorine. So one chlorine molecule in a little cycle can destroy thousands of ozone molecules. Satellite gives you a global picture of total ozone, and that's where the name ozone hole comes from. It looked like a, a hole had been punched through the ozone layer. The ice sheet is actually quite vulnerable to collapse. Best estimate, a little better, a little worse, a lot worse. This is worse than anything we've ever seen before. The ice sheet is deglaciating. An abrupt change. With the there are going to be some pretty nasty surprises. And things are a lot worse than we expect. Yes, it is. And the impact to these wildlife sites is, in some cases, devastating. Dangerous beast, right? So you don't want to poke the sleeping dragon too much. Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets melting at unprecedented rates, decades ahead of scientific projections. Coming up here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. I am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in our ozone. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. This is not a partisan debate, it is a human one. Clean air and a livable climate are inalienable human rights. And solving this crisis is not a question of politics, it is a question of our own survival. President Barack Obama has canceled the ozone national ambient air quality standards that would have significantly tightened rules to reduce emissions of smog-causing chemicals. That feels the president hasn't done enough to protect the environment and fight climate change. 71% of Americans think the country should do whatever it takes to protect the environment. But that wasn't enough to convince the president, whose re-election will ultimately be determined by his ability to create jobs and foster economic recovery. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. In my life, I have dreamt of seeing the great herds of wild animals, jungles and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. But now I wonder if they will even exist for my children to see. You can make history or you will be vilified by it. For the economy itself will die if our ecosystems collapse. If you don't know how to fix it, please stop breaking it. Parents should be able to comfort their children by saying, everything's going to be all right. It's not the end of the world. And we're, and we're doing the best we can. But I don't think you can say that to us anymore. Are we even on your list of priorities? Now it is your turn 
The time to answer humankind's greatest challenge is now. We beg of you to face it with courage and honesty. Thank you.